We're just going to ignore the fact that I haven't done a video in months and just move on. Hey guys, it's Jalen. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my everyday summer makeup routine. Throughout the summer, I have changed like the products I use and just different things, but this has been pretty much what I've been wearing all summer. I don't know how long it takes you guys to do your makeup, but 20 minutes for me is pretty short, and that's about how long it takes me to do this if I'm going like all out. Some days I'll just do eye makeup, some days I won't do any makeup, some days I'll go lighter with my face makeup, but this is kind of like if I want to do everything, this is what I do. And it's really great because it's really lightweight, and I find during the summer I do a lot more things outside or go to long events with my friends, and I don't want to have to worry about my makeup melting off or fading or having to reapply like powder or anything. I find that this doesn't really bug it doesn't melt off it doesn't look horrible by the end of the day but if you want to find out how I get this relatively long-lasting summer lightweight this is gonna be a long title makeup look go ahead and keep on watching but before I get on to the tutorial part of this video be sure to leave me a comment down below of any requests you have for me to do especially any back to school videos because I know it's about that time I know I'm so excited to go back to school I have four books to read for summer homework in about two and a half weeks but we're not gonna talk about it um, and give this video a thumbs up for summertime makeup looks that last and don't melt off when you sweat like a pig and if you want more quality entertainment and weirdness go ahead and subscribe down below it's completely free and you get to look at me make a fool of myself anyway let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial before I make an even bigger fool of myself so I am back with another tutorial and I like to use this primer to start off my makeup but I am almost out so I'm saving it for a day I'm actually makeup being not just for a video and then I'm using this concealer, and this is the NYX HD Concealer in the color Glow. It is obviously the wrong color, so ladies and gentlemen, please remember to always purchase the correct concealer color when shopping online. Um, but yeah, I put the wrong color in my cart. I chose the, wrong, the right one and then just put the wrong one in my cart, and it was bad. Anyway, I'm just blending this. I finally put it under my... CoverGirl Queen Collection Natural Hue, basically a tinted moisturizer kind of thing, but I find when I put the concealer underneath it, it works just fine. It's not too crazy looking. Um, I know a lot of people put their concealer on top because they want to see what else they need to cover, but I know I'm going to need to cover my bag, so it works out for me. Um, and I love this color because it actually blends perfectly into my neck. I don't know if you can tell um, with this lighting, but it it's the perfect color for me which makes me really happy and then I like to use this setting spray under my powder products because it makes my foundation and concealer stay and not budge and then now I'm just using a setting powder I don't know if you guys do this but I have like specific parts of my um, sponge blender thing for different things so I have like a specific part for baking but yeah I'm just gonna bake with that setting powder and now I'm taking this dark brown and blending it into my crease. I love doing this because not only does it add dimension, but I'm going to be using kind of like a glittery color on my lid and this really just makes it pop more. And so I'm just really making sure to blend this out well. And then I am packing on this Peony um, Copper shade and it's kind of glittery. So I make sure to pack it and not swipe it so I don't have glitter all over my face because that's not fun. It's very difficult to get off. But I think it's really gorgeous, especially in the sunlight, which there's a lot of in the summer. So it's been kind of my go-to shade the past couple weeks. And then I'm just using the brown again to blend the colors together. And now I'm going to be using this kind of like creamy white shade from the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. Okay, what do you call it when it's eight? Is it just a palette or is it like an off quad? It's not a quad. Anyway, I don't know. I'm going to be brushing away the bake and I like to use the kind of leftover excess setting powder to set the rest of my uh, cream makeup, not powder makeup. And I don't really know what happened there. I haven't used anything black yet, but that happened. But yeah, I'm just brushing this away and then using the excess powder to set the rest of my um, foundation and concealer and such. And then I'm using this NYX matte bronzer in the color Deep Tan to contour my face. I like this because it's a very soft contour. It's kind of orangey. Um, it's more of like a warm color than a cool, cool color. So it gives a nice bronzed look um, and contours my face. Um, so I'm just going to contour under my cheekbones to make it look like I have nice high defined cheekbones. And then also up to my temple and down my jawline. And then I also like to put a little bit under my chin. And then I am going to be using this blush in Gingerly 
on my cheeks. I don't really love blush, but I find it's a nice way to kind of blend your concealer, or not concealer, contour into your highlight. Um, and then I'm just highlighting with this e.l.f. Cosmetics blush in the color Koi and this Hikari quad kind of thing. It's really cool. It has this nice like glittery, well not glittery, but bronzy gold highlight and mixed with the e.l.f. blush, it creates a really gorgeous highlight. And then I'm going to be tightlining my eyes with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner and Swerve. I haven't really been doing any like winged eyeliner or anything. I just like the way this looks because it kind of defines my eyes. But it's not too intense or too heavy. At least I don't feel like it is, especially with a glittery lid. I feel like it also helps make the glitter pop. And excuse my weird breakdown there. But I'm going to be using an IT Cosmetics blush first. If you guys have been watching my recent makeup tutorials, you know I've been loving mixing mascaras and so I got this one in my Ipsy bag a while ago in a slight tragedy when I got it on my lid. And then I'm also going to be using my M by Michelle Phan Lash Gallery Mascara that I also got in my Ipsy bag. I absolutely love Ipsy because somehow every time I'm about to run out of mascara they send me one and so I never have to buy any and they're always amazing. Um, and now I'm using this Lord & Berry Nude Lip Liner, and I like to go with kind of nude colors if I am going to do any lip colors over the summer because they're slightly more low maintenance, I feel like. And I'm just going over it with this Nude Sticks Lip Crayon in Mystic. And I thought I was done, but I forgot about my brows, so I'm using this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the color Espresso just to kind of fill them in. Um, I don't really do a whole lot with my brows, I kind of like the natural look. And that's about it. I didn't film an outro, so just remember that you are you, no one is yours than you, your beauty is yours, and your beauty is personal. And I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your summer if you're still on summer break, and if not, I'm so sorry. I believe in you. You can get through the school year. Alright guys, see you later!